Do you want to pursue a career in tax accounting but unsure what it really entails? Today I'll be breaking down the tasks of a new associate at an accounting firm and what you can expect. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabrielle and for those who are new to my channel, I like to talk about topics related to personal finance, career and work-life balance. And today I'll be focusing on the roles of a new associate who is just starting out at the firm. I'll be referring to my own experience from working at a big four accounting firm for the past seven years as well as my experience working with new associates on a daily basis. After graduating from university and going through recruit, I landed a position at a big four accounting firm. I worked towards my CPA designation for the next two and a half years as I worked as a new associate. One of the first things that I did as a new associate was lots of training. I was an L&D or learning and development training for two weeks, which is hosted by the firm. Topics range from basic admin, such as filing out your timesheets, to how to use a firm's technology, technical tax courses, ethics, as well as procedures and processes in place to officially manage projects. Getting used to everything definitely took a while and it took a few months to adjust to and people were generally very understanding. Outside of university, I had realized that the workplace was so much more than just applying theory and that there are so many more aspects of working than just solving tax problems. Another important task of a new associate are administrative work. One of the most important tasks of a new associate are the admin work that senior associates and managers will rely on you for. Yes, it's not very glamorous and to be honest, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but it's important. The following admin work keeps the firm compliant and prepared in case of any potential lawsuits in the future. Filing emails into a data management system. You can only imagine the countless emails that get sent each day. And while not all of them are important, the ones where a client confirms something or provides relevant information or anything that requires a record to be kept as supporting documents need to be filed away so that you, your team, and the firm can reference it later when memory alone is not reliable. Filing supporting work papers. When clients provide their work papers so that you and your team could get started on a certain project, those work papers also need to be filed away according to specific naming conventions so anyone in your team can easily find the document they are looking for. Preparing engagement letters. Before any work is started on a client, an engagement letter needs to be sent out to the client. While there is a template to be followed, it is usually the new associate's responsibility to draft up the first version for review. Checking independence of a client. If you work for a big firm, there are lots of large clients that require both audit and tax work. And in order for the firm to stay compliant, they are required to not have any conflict of interest when performing multiple types of work for one client. So for example, a Fortune 500 client may require both audit, tax, consulting, advisory, and other types of work from a big four accounting firm. It is usually the new associates who make sure that all the necessary admin work and processes are taken care of, when getting a client's work approved from different service lines. Understanding the firm's process. Big firms are changing their processes multiple times a year as they try to keep up with technology and make processes more efficient. The new associate will be heavily relied on to understand what the updated processes are, such as how to set up a job code, how to send a tax return to be outsourced, etc. Another big chunk of a new associate's responsibilities are preparing tax returns. If you just started out at the firm, the main and most fundamental work you will have is preparing tax returns. Let me walk you through how a new associate may be involved in the tax compliance process. Before starting the actual tax return preparation process, you may be asked to draft up the information request list for the client. And this consists of information needed from the client in order to prepare the tax return on their behalf. Every client is different, so the information request can be tailored to the specific client. And sometimes there is already an information request filed away in the prior year's file. So all you really need to do is update it and roll forward for the current year. This process can also be automated by sending an online request to the client depending on your firm's technology. The information request will then be reviewed by the senior associate or manager on file and then be sent to the client. Following the information request, the client will send certain confirmations and supporting work papers. And depending on the size of the client, work papers can range from a dozen to a few dozen work papers. And each work paper received can be relatively simple with just a few tabs to massive work papers that take forever to load and with like 30 different tabs. And as I mentioned previously, the new associate will file away the relevant client emails and supporting work papers. And then it is finally time to get started on the actual tax return preparation process. 
Back seven years ago when I first started, the new associates actually prepared the tax returns from scratch. Obviously, I didn't know what I was doing and mainly referred to prior files and just copying exactly what was done by updating it with current year numbers. Getting to know the flow of the tax return preparation software and understanding the tax adjustments definitely took some time getting used to. And I realized that what you learned in university consists of very simple examples with round numbers that's easy to understand. However, in the real world, clients are very different and it takes some time getting to know the client's background, their unique work papers, tax specific concepts to their industry, aside just from the tax concepts. Fast forward seven years later, or even starting from a couple of years ago, a lot of the tax return preparation process gets outsourced to India and the new associates are usually just the first reviewers. There are both advantages and disadvantages to this. The advantage I would say is that your time is better spent looking at a tax return from a big picture perspective compared to just getting sucked into the details of the numbers if you were to prepare it yourself. Also, the mundane tasks of reconciliating numbers and referencing a work paper can be outsourced and you could now focus on the technical aspects of the tax return that may not be easily picked up by the team in India. You would then update the return for any mistakes you find and then send it for a second review to your senior associate. Now, the disadvantage is that there will be a higher expectation of you to bring a more polished tax return to your senior since you had more time as a reviewer to pick up issues. Also, while preparing a tax return from scratch can be time consuming and mundane at times, I always thought that it was a good skill to first develop your foundation in tax because you really get familiarized with the tax program and how the numbers flow to the different schedules. Now, just a side comment here. Obviously, from a firm perspective, they are always finding ways to make processes efficient and to save costs wherever they can stay competitive. And as technologies develop, work that can be automated, such as compliance work and preparation of a tax return, is taking less of a tax accountant's time. Instead, more lucrative work, such as tax consulting and helping a client navigate complex tax issues, seems to be the direction that firms are moving towards, which means more interesting and value-added work for you. After preparing the tax return, you send it to the senior associate for review. They'll take another look through the tax returns and provide you with review notes on items they picked up to be incorrect or require further confirmation from the client. You can clear the review notes by updating the tax returns based on the senior's comments. And this is always a really good learning opportunity for you so that you could avoid making the same mistakes in the future and to slowly build on your technical tax skills. An email may also need to be drafted to the client to confirm certain missing information that came up during the review process. This step may go back and forth a few times until the senior associate is happy with the tax return and moves it to the manager or the senior manager for review. Eventually, the partner will have a quick look, a very high level look, and then approve the tax return to be sent to the client. If the client is satisfied with it, the tax return will finally be ready to be filed. Another important task of a new associate is shadowing. The first one to two years will be spent shadowing your seniors, which basically means seeing how they carry out their duties so that you can learn from them. Some shadowing activities may be attending meetings where you will be asked to join team meetings, review meetings with partners, meetings with clients, and there's no need for you to get nervous as you'll most likely just be observing and learning from how your seniors manage a file and ask questions to the manager, and also how the manager clears review notes with partners, as well as how managers interact with clients. By attending these meetings or asking to attend these meetings, you'll learn what the expectations are as you move up in the firm and how to effectively manage files from learning from those who have more experience. Another important task is building client relationship skills. And while you may not be in the front lines of engaging with the client, you may be helping your seniors by drafting the initial communication. For example, if you had me assisting with tax return prep and there are some outstanding questions that need to be confirmed with the client, you may be asked to draft the initial email. Your senior will then edit the email and fine tune some wordings, clarify some points, and then send it out to the client themselves. This is really good practice for you to develop your professional communication skills with clients in the future. So those are the tasks of a new associate at an accounting firm. I hope you found my video helpful for you guys. If you guys enjoyed my video, it would really mean a lot to me if you guys could hit that like button down below as well as subscribe for more videos like this. If you're just starting out an accounting firm and you're looking for some tips, then check out my video on survival tips for new starts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!